Blessed is the Virgin Mary who kept the word of God and pondered it in her heart. Half a day to row and welcome to today's reflection. At the end of our gospel today from St. Luke, it says, His mother kept all these things in her heart, beginning from the visitation, giving birth to the son, the visitation of the three wise men, visitation of the shepherds, the fleeing to Egypt, the memories of her son growing up, and on Mount Calvary at the foot of the cross and resurrection. All of these things that took place in her life, she kept and treasured them in her heart and pondered on it. Today we celebrate the solemnity of Immaculate heart of Mary, immaculate heart, the heart that is pure, spotless, unstained, and clean, the heart that is full of love for her son and for us as her children. For the point of reflection, I would like to reflect on the symbols that are depicted on the image of her heart. We may have seen it or look at it numerous times. But the question is, have we taken a moment to reflect on these symbols and what it represents and how we can relate them to our lives? These symbols that we see on the image of the Blessed Mother's heart may appear simple, but within it, it is complex. There are three simple symbols, the flame, the sword, and the crown of white roses. So let's look at the flame. The flame represents her burning love of God and the humanity, us, her children. And the sword represents the prophecy of Simeon in Luke chapter 2, verse 35, says, and the sword will pierce your own soul. And the crown of white rose, roses or white lily represent the purity of her heart her immaculate conception, and her faithfulness and trust in God. So my dear friends, as we celebrate the solemnity of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, the flame of love is a reminder to love God over everything we have in our lives and extended that same love to our neighbors or those we encounter that in need of God's love. As Simeon prophesied that a sword will pierce her own soul, so are we, our souls, will be pierced when we lose our loved one, especially when it is unexpected. Sometimes we ask, why is this happening to me and my family? Let's be like the Blessed Mother, that all the things happening in her life, she remains steadfast, faithful, and trust in God's will. So my dear friends, finally, our mother loves us as much as she loves her son. Let us pray that through her intercession to her son, may God grant us the purity of his mother's heart to remain steadfast, faithful, and remain in God's love throughout our lives. Amen. <music>